Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jimmy Ventura, in the booth with me is Rick Schiavone. Hello. Hello Jim, absolutely wonderful to be here for another Monday Night Claw. And this time we are drawing awfully close to day two. And uh, I'm sure all of our JFW superstars have that in mind tonight as they try and scramble onto the card for various title shots and the like. And once again, a wonderfully stacked card. I am super excited for this one. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, it should be, should be glorious. And speaking of day two, we've got an announcement from Mr. Jims McMahon um, that maybe that's oh. pertaining to that. Um, oh, baby. Yeah, just a couple of weeks until the next pay-per-view. Glorious. It's never a dull night when uh, Jim's from Man has something to say. Can't wait to hear what this is. <laughs> Bessel, you twat. <laughs> anyway, let's go to ringside. here and apologize to the JFW universe because I can't believe Teresa Mame. How dare she? She just didn't bother running Friday Night Stand Firm. What an absolute disgrace. Well, I tell you what. She started talking about a hard brand split. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Hard brand split. Yeah, something like that. And there was no deal and she said brand split meant brand split. And she was just going to take her ball and go home. Well, guess what? I st I'm still the owner of this company. And those wrestlers are employed by me. So even though we didn't have Stan Firm, we're going to have some Stan Firm superstars on tonight. JBG, the world champ. Calcium Cas, the challenger. Some vanilla midgets that I don't give a shit about. All those guys are going to be on tonight. So there you go. Um, and we've got day two, our amazing original pay-per-view coming up on the 2nd of January, Sunday, two weeks time. That's going to be amazing. And some things are going to happening. And to be honest, my throat's absolutely killing me now with this stupid voice. So that's it for me. See ya. <laughs> oh my goodness, the, the fans going absolutely mental in the background. Friday night, stand firm superstars here on Monday Night Claw. Oh, baby. Yeah, glorious, glorious stuff. <laughs> now, now I'm off to have a strepsil. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I had thought of a better voice from Mr. Jim <laughs> Well, that's it now. You're stuck for life, Jim. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Pretty much. So here we have our relatively new Wemdope champion, Full Force, defeated the absolutely otherwise dominant Chug Man Milk and, uh, and has won in style since then. So yeah, it just hasn't looked like anybody could possibly stand up to him. So I can't wait to see if Jim Swimman has managed to find somebody even close to his caliber to give us a good match tonight. Or will it be another squash? Let's find out, baby. Yeah, do you know what was amazing? I was looking in the game, um, and it said that Volk for Goal was was champ for forty nine days, and uh, wow. Chugs was champ for forty two days. So yeah, both incredible run, nearly top, like you know, Volk and the guy yeah. who toppled him, unbelievable. Yeah, when when I first came in uh, to be involved in the JFW, it was just changing every week. We'd always have a new Wemd Up champion every Monday Night Claw, and then suddenly, yeah, Volk for Gore just changed it. And and like you say, Chug carried on that tradition. So, dominant champions, here we go. Will that continue tonight? <laughs> oh God, who's this? <laughs> who, who actually is this? <laughs> <laughs> It's all gone wrong. <laughs> oh! 
It isn't. I thought it could have been Peppered Biscuit, but it isn't. Oh. It's it's JBG's best mate, Foxamania. He's come here from Yorkshire. Represent wow. and stand firm a bit. He, he had us all on. Yeah, I thought that was Pepper Biscuit as well, but no. <laughs> here, here he is, Pennsylvania. Absolutely incredible superstar, but somewhat been in the shadow of JBG in recent months since he's been the world champion. Will he break his way out of that tonight and become a champion himself to beat full force? It's not an easy task, but if anybody can do it, it's the man with Sean Bean on his boots, baby. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Also, I really, really, really want this tune like blasting out when people uh, are streaming Farming Simulator and rolling out the fields, Jim. I think that'd be completely <laughs> badass. <laughs> yeah. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Oh god, I don't want this blasting out of anywhere though. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh dear. What, what is there to say about Fault Force that uh, hasn't already been said? <laughs> no, nothing we want to repeat. No, he's uh, yeah, he has been an absolutely fantastic Wemdope champion so far. Just the one defense, I think, but uh, an excellent defense, an excellent win in the first place, an excellent non-title win against Chug Chugman Milk to earn him that shot before that. So, yeah, he really struggled through the Hamageddon era. Maybe he was distracted by all of his uh, kebab fun dwindling. But since then, in the last few weeks, he has been absolutely phenomenal. And uh, yeah, I honestly can't wait to see uh, how this one goes down, because both of these are incredible superstars. <laughs> we don't get to see, we don't get to see uh, too much of the Yorkshire boys on Monday Night Claw normally, so uh, loving already. Jimps McMahon's decree, his rebellion almost, if you can call it that, against Theresa May. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point, Tony. Fort Force is now the farm safety officer. Got it, guys. Foxamania, glorious. He's as hairy as Fault Force is oily. <laughs> Introducing the champion. Oh, I, it might get matted, Jim. This could be a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I hope he's brought a good comb. <laughs> I feel like Foxamania didn't think through this title challenge. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing what the uh, the JFW superstars are prepared to go through, isn't it, in uh, in search of glory? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, baby! What what a match to open claw! Let's do this thing. It really is, yeah. Former extra arms belt champion is Foxamania. He's he's yeah, no slouch yeah, at all in the ring. Boxman is a beast. We we wouldn't have a challenger this strong if it wasn't for Jim Swipman bringing in the the stand firm lads. This is amazing. Oh, and what a start! Drop toe hold. Wasn't uh, wasn't selling those punches at all from Fault Force and Boxmania showing him what stand firm's made of. Although Fault Force incredibly strong and powerful, and we go for the big suplex. Second attempt. There it is. No, no, oh. it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Knee to the head. Ah, oh, but Fault Force dodges. The drop kick. Nice kicks and punches from Foxamania, though. He's so much quicker than Full Force, but Full Force is so much stronger. Cuts the legs out from him, though. That's going to be a great strategy if he wants to take control. Yep, great strategy. Going for those weakened knees. He's got those knee braces, hasn't he? Oh, wow. Things. Yeah, what a, what a little submission. Can Full Force squeak his way out of this? Use that oil to just slip right out. <laughs> I never wanted to say that sentence. <laughs> he does. Or Foxomania has to uh, has to release eventually. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, but the power of Fault Force once more. Cool. This has to take extreme. a breather though. Yeah, yeah, this isn't extreme rules in case you thought he was going for a weapon. <laughs> He's just take, taking a breather. 
Yeah, yeah, clasping his head there. You can see he was struggling off oh, Foxomania. <laughs> tossed onto the concrete. How many feet of concrete this week, Jim? Only 17. We've got a little light one today. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, he, do he doesn't look too bad, actually. That would explain it. And he blocks the right hand. Comes back with a right hand of his own, and then full force, super kick to the gut. And a massive barrage of punches. Foxylvania comes back. Jim, I just can't split these two. Oh, man. Oh, well, he's, oh, he's caught him. Oh, my goodness, no. <laughs> Wait, has the count restarted? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> okay, I was I was worried then, Jim. I thought Fault Force had found a completely dastardly way to retain the belt. Oh my goodness, nothing dastardly about that. Nearly takes off Fox Mania's head with the boot. Finally going to bring this one back in. No, no, smashes him off the apron instead. God, how perfect was the taunt in the kick? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> oh my goodness, and the the Spanish in that table taking a beating. And we're up to six already, seven. Oh, Foxomania! Desperation right hook, and they get in the ring together! Who's gonna work? <laughs> Who's gonna get on top? Oh, the sheer girth! The sheer girth of Full Force flattening Foxomania. Foxomania gets back on his feet, though! Full Force is celebrating! <laughs> Too soon, Full Force, sir! Too soon! <laughs> oh. oh, into the turnbuckle we go. Terrible catch time. The, catches the kick. Oh, the half crab! The half crab, Jim! <laughs> the devastating half crab! Outside. It is absolutely devastating. The most painful manoeuvre in the JFW and somehow Foxomania fights through, but he has to catch his breath and full force recovers first. Oh, belly to back. Brilliant from full force. This is why he's the champ. Is this the moment he takes control and retains his belt? Oh, ground and pound. Devastating repeated blows to the head. Foxomania in all sorts of trouble now. He's got to find something. He does! <laughs> Gets the uppercut. The Full force shoot. into the ropes. Oh, Goes beautiful. for a ride. Wonderful arm drag. Oh no, but Full Force catches the kick. I can't believe how back and forth this is. They're absolutely evenly matched. I have no idea who's going to win this one. It really is unbelievable, isn't it? Being high octane to say the least. Yep, they just they haven't stopped for a second. And uh, I yeah, I just can't split this could could not be more of an even matchup. Nice boot from Full Force. Goes for the pin, first pin we've seen. Ref takes an absolute age to get down. Not sure if that was a one count or really a three count. <laughs> yeah. You can understand the ref's trepidation at getting close to Full Force though. <laughs> <laughs> you you can. He tried to get as far away as possible where he can see the shoulders. What a drop kick! What a drop kick from Fox of Ania. That was beautiful. Glorious stuff. Oh. 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 Boot to the guts. Winding full force. Might be oh, reproducing. Oh, right hand. Might be bringing up some kebab after that. <laughs> oh, no. That's the last thing you want if you're his opponent. Dear me. <laughs> Double axe handle. Foxomania looking completely wiped out here. I'm a bit worried, yeah. and that's a pin. The ref's down much quicker this time. Oof. Yeah, got got to two, but a solid kick out at two. Uh-oh, the thrust is from Fault Force. That uh, <laughs> usually means he's got some, some nasty plans in store for you. <laughs> yep, can confirm. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my goodness. Ooh. I've never seen this from Fault Force. That could be it. <laughs> Oh my god. It's Ham's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> Ham's Gate, yeah. <laughs> wow. Somehow Foxomania holds on. Full Force has to release eventually. Too much effort. And the, the kick from Foxomania. Desperately trying to claw his way back into this. Gets his first pin of the night in. Only a one count. Yeah, that's, that's not enough by itself. He can find something big though. He might have done enough. No, he gets caught. Oh, he gets caught. Scooped over by Fault Force. That could be it this time. That's going to be close. Oh. Two count again. Ref having to let the crowd know it was that, that close. That was unbelievable. Thanks, the head of uh, Foxomania. 
do feel like Fort Force has had just slightly the better of the last few minutes exchange. Yeah, and he is loving it now. <laughs> he is, isn't he? He he really is. But here comes Foxlamania <laughs> again, another one of those devastating uppercuts. Oh, Foxlock! The Foxlock! Oh my goodness! New champ! Absolutely could be a new champ! We've seen Full Force tap before! Oh man! Come on, baby! Come on! He does it, champs! We got a new champ! <laughs> oh, Unbelievable! Man. Unbelievable, baby! Wow! Held on in there until he could get the fox lock in and just too much for full force. What a victory! And what is Theresa Mame gonna do now? <laughs> he's decreed that Foxamania and his ill a stand firm only superstar. And he's just won the Web Dope Championship and he's gotta defend every night on Monday Night Claw. What the heck is going on? Unbelievable, unbelievable developments in uh in the JFW. What, in, what indeed will Theresa name have to think about this? Unbelievable. And there you go. Congrats, Foxavania. Incredible win. And yeah, new champ. And now we've got Plim Plum Pluseway actions. The champ, Hancock. And uh, I can't just glaze over that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just reading that myself. Very nice, that feel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, squirrel dude, that is. <laughs> yeah, that's that's our, our one downfall, squirrel dude, is actually having uh, progression and personal development in the JFW. You know, it's definitely not the, the wrestling way. But uh, but there, there we go. Everybody has their faults. <laughs> now, we don't have fault forces when dope champion anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, I guess the end of the epic title reigns is over for now, unless Foxamania wants to kick one off. But yeah, this is a great matchup, Jim, and uh, it's about time we saw some fresh blood uh, fighting the the ilk of Hancock in the Plim Plum Blues weight division because uh, unfortunately, the Bread Mask and uh, Muppet haven't managed to get it done. Haven't managed to take the title belt back. You know, even if it's been through uh, through lying, stealing, cheating means of the Scousers. There's only so many shots you can have, Jim. Yeah, absolutely. Some new guys getting a crack at it. I think this is in part because Mr. Jim McMahon just doesn't care about Plim Plum Losers, but <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hancock's gonna gonna make him care. Yeah, if this maybe. is what he wants as one of the faces of the JFW. Then, uh, then he can ignore it. But uh, if he has a problem with this, because Hancock's been the champion for a long time now, Jim. He really has, yeah. Incredible title reign. It makes you wonder how he's ever going to lose it, to be honest. It does. It really does. But as we've seen time and again, there can always be an upset. There can always be uh, some sort of freak accident. You, you never know. He's, he's done wonderfully so far, but nobody, and I mean nobody, is champ forever. Still from Spain. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. From Russia. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, apart from Dimmy, yeah, Dimmy's always the champ. He's not from Spain. <laughs> <laughs> But he has got a baseball bat. He has, he has. He's an ominous figure, isn't he? Approaching the ring, Randy. I, I wouldn't want to mess with him. And uh, he's, <laughs> he's done really well so far in the JFW. This could be the next step up for him, though. Um, could find himself in with a, a plim plum plus weight shot at some point if he can defeat the champion tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Weighing in at 130 pounds, Matt 
the dragon, Storm. And there you go, one half of the Breaking Storm tag team. It yeah, fantastic. Uh, this guy's really got some moves, and his mask looks like it's come out of an 80s Nintendo game. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> great combination. Yeah. Not the most exciting entrance, but never mind. Not used to the singles. Uh, not used to the singles competition, really. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always interesting when uh, somebody goes one way or the other from singles to tag or tag to singles to see how they perform. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely be be looking at Storm here tonight uh, to see what he can do. But you got to fancy Hancock as the favorite, and then I suppose Randy is as the second favorite. But uh, yeah, anything can happen in the JFW. Yep. Oh, what a start from Hancock. That's a rude awakening to singles competition. But Randy bided his time and a lovely uh, lovely side suplex on, on the champion. Oh. Side Spanish leg sweep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, here comes Storm crossbody for the pin. Oh, I've got to imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have been something. That would have been the quickest triple threat finish I think we've ever seen. Hancock <laughs> limbering up in the corner, wisely taking his time. Oh! Oh, he picked his moment there, Jim. That was incredible, yeah. Arm drag from Storm, though. He's having none of it. Wants to show uh, both of them what he's made of. Goes from Hancock to Storm to Randy, back to Hancock. Good uses of elbows. Really nasty pass to the body, isn't it? To hit someone with, if you can, the elbow. Absolutely brutal, yeah. Ridiculously sharp, ridiculously hard. Oh wow, this is uh, this is a bit of a mess. As everyone's everyone's gone for everyone here. It is. It's a, a proper triple threat, but Storm's out of there, and Hancock with the finish. That could be a no, no. Just elbows to the head. Okay, so we've got Randy versus Hancock going at it for a little while now in the middle. Oh, nasty, nasty flying fist. Claws, Randy. But he's fighting back, baby. What's he got? Not very much. He gets whipped into the ropes. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice takedown from Hancock, but he gets caught by Storm. <laughs> he gets caught. Randy saved. It's a rainstorm, Jim. <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> oh! oh, my goodness me. Storm has bad intentions. That could be it. Oh, man. oh. Just the one we know how tough Hancock is, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised. But beautifully done. Cleared out Randy. Took down Hancock. Made the pin. He's doing all the right things. Yeah. And he in no way reminds me of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, slight, slightly. Slight, slight. Uh... Randy back in the ring now. Taking it to Hancock, who just about started to get the upper hand. Oh, and down goes Randy. Hancock having none of it. But he doesn't see Storm coming. <laughs> oh, Sleeper. Oh. Sleeper and Randy's down. Oh. oh, great jawbreaker, though, by Hancock to get out of it. Hurt himself in the process, and the kick is caught. Oh, Hancock sent onto the apron, but then Randy turning his attention to Storm. Hancock being given all the time in the world to recover here. Arm drag by Storm. Yeah, look. Randy fights back again. Bad. My goodness, Jim. Oh, there goes uh, there goes Storm. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to the ring, Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> right? Man, he had ages to recover and he didn't manage it. And that was a pretty long two count as well. Wow, yeah. Hancock's struggling, Jim. We could see his first loss in a very, very long time. Yeah, maybe he was out on the lash last night. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be a surprise. Flailing. It's reversed. <laughs> oh, oh no, Randy, no! That done so bad, it takes so long. <laughs> oh no, that was awful. <laughs> now, Storm back as well. Randy in all sorts of trouble. Hancock 
Picking his moment again. He absolutely wiped out Storm last time he did this. Ah, oh. oh, this time he misses. Oh, but only oh. once. Into oh. pin. This could be it. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Two and three quarters. I thought he had it. I thought the champ had done it again, but he's he's going to finish it now. Oh, unless Randy off. can wake up. Oh, Storm oh. moves out the way. Close line. Oh, man. Randy's up. Oh, it's only in one count. Wow. I thought the uh, the champ was struggling earlier, but he very, very nearly won it there. Eats another side suplex and he's out, though. Great opportunity for one of these to get an upset. Yeah. Oh. Randy with the neck breaker going upstairs. This is the plim plum plus away action that we love. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, lands the, the uh, reverse moon sword. What's it called? Star shooting press splash? I, I, yeah, I, I shooting star. Shooting star press. press. Shooting yeah. star press? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> Help me out on that one. But, uh, Hancock wasn't having any of it, but he's in trouble now. Randy absolutely dominating in the middle of the ring. Storm completely gone. Just dead on the floor, effectively. Oh, Hancock catches the kick. Randy took too long. Oh. Oh. What a suplex. <laughs> Randy's gone and, and Storm recovering. Yeah. Oh, he's caught. He nearly, nearly had got back to being Copas Mentus, but Hancock with a series of clotheslines. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, man, this could be it. That uh, really could. Randy's going to try and break it up. Oh. oh, kicks out anyway. Hancock caught. What's Randy going to do? Nothing. Hancock fights out the corner. Oh, my goodness. Randy down and out. Storm still not responding at all. And that's why he's Whoa. the champ, Jim. Unbelievable from Hancock again. Whoa. Every single time. <laughs> he's just, oh yeah, every time he finds a way to win. Unbelievable stuff. What a champ, Hancock. As much really as the is. Scousers are disgusting human beings, <laughs> you can't take away what an incredible run this has been from Hancock. Who, who'd you even put up against him in a title shot? It doesn't feel like anybody's deserved it. No, true. True, he's just, he is just far, far above everyone, isn't he? It's incredible. He, he is, he is. Deserves a night off maybe on day two. No Plim Plum Plus away title defense, who knows? Yeah, maybe. Unbelievable. <laughs> nice face. That was that's the one. That's what I was getting it confused with. <laughs> yep. Oh, well, pretty scoop. Yeah, Brock Lesnar did shit in style presses, didn't he? Until WrestleMania. <laughs> but that was a moonsault, wasn't it? Was that a moonsault or was that a shooting star press where he landed on his head? Shooting star press, I'm pretty sure. What, whatever it was, I never saw him do one again after that. Yeah. yeah. He also got told not to do it as well because, like, you know, <laughs> like, it's meant to be a Plim Plom Plooza move, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, stop making everyone else look bad, Brock. <laughs> and then when he nearly broke his neck, he's like, okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here we go. Speaking of making people look bad, it's the it's dress for business. Glorious. Yeah, they've just beaten the champions, haven't they? Yeah. Um, in a non-title match. So uh, they are red hot at the moment. And the Scousers, of course, the ex-champions. So, yeah, if uh, you talk about uh, teams vying for a title shot, it doesn't get any better than this at the moment. This is the, the pinnacle of the tag team division outside of the actual champions. Yeah, absolutely. Dress for business surely have to have to get a title shot at day two, but will anybody be joining them? That's the question, I guess. Yep, the, uh, yeah, that could be an 
amazing triple threat if the uh, if the Scousers could win tonight. They've just seen Hancock, their brother in arms, get a win. Will they join him? Or will somebody low blow somebody else in 20 seconds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was great, wasn't it? <laughs> 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 it was certainly unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Always great when you spend four entrances building up a match and, uh, <laughs> and then it's uh, <laughs> over by DQ in 20 seconds. All right, these two looking absolutely phenomenal, and they're wrestling absolutely phenomenally. So yeah, this is uh, seems like a really hard one for the Scousers tonight. The Scousers always seem to be able to find wins that I never expect of them, but uh, yeah, this is just incredibly difficult to beat these two for anybody right now. Yeah. <laughs> it was not doing good to see a hello poopy scoop. <laughs> This match coming on too soon to have uh, Hancock as the manager. He's He's been heavily involved in some of their wins in the tag team division. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. I've got, I've got, I've got to get a cup of tea because my throat's killing somewhere. Right yeah, back. no worries, Jim. People have underestimated these two in the past in both singles and tag competition, but I don't think they do anymore. I think everybody has realized just how good these guys are. It's Scouse House time, Steve Marty, but can you beat Dress for Business? I, I, I've underestimated you guys way too many times, but it's, I don't know, it's so hard to see anyone beating Dress for Business in their current form. It certainly seems hard to do clean. Maybe, maybe we'll see some dirty tactics to get it done by the Scousers tonight. <laughs> Steve Motti has normal starts it off. Gets the better of Lemon in the grapple. Takes him down. Beautiful technical wrestling so far. Nice side headlock. Oh, Lemon with the reverse. Hits him in the head scissors. Steve Marty struggling to get out. Does get out. Pops straight back up. Locks up again. Armbar by Steve Marty. Some of the best pure wrestling we've seen in a long time. Takes him down from the knee. Really cranking that shoulder. Lemon powers out. Gets the whip. Takes him over to Foxamania. Oh, DDT. Lovely, lovely maneuver from Lemon there. Put that together really well. Crank it head. In control now is Lemon. No signs of any tags so far. Pick Steve Moddy up. Oh my word. Oh my word. What a spinning wheel kick. D Mott in a bad way now. Powers out. Finds a way to make the tag. Brilliant response from Steve Motty to being absolutely clobbered around the jaw. Fucking misses. Let's Lemon back in. I don't know whose head is more yellow out of Fugonomic and Lemon. Lemon struggling to get to Fan Fox. Does eventually. No. No. Picks up Fugonomic. Had left it a while. Seems like he's going to get away with it. Rams him into the corner. Is this the tag now? No. Fugonomic denies it. Massive boot to the head. Whips him over to Steve Motti. Lemon with the knees up. Belly to belly from Fuganomic. Oh, this is back and forth. Stops on Lemon and Lemon in a bad way. Can't believe he didn't make that tag. The Scousers now definitely in control. Oh, oh. Knockout flying scissor kick to the back of Lemon's head. Incredible agility from Fuganomic. But Lemon kicks him away. 
Massive right hand from Lemon, and he's going to feed him into the ring post. Oh! Funganomic in a bad, bad way all of a sudden. Lemon not holding on for the pin. Funganomic going for the tag. Lemon going for the tag. Two fresh men. Here we go. Makes it. Dean Meyer with bad intentions. Spear. Spear, but Fun Fox pops up. And there's no Funganomic in the corner. Oh, Steve Meyer is in a bad way. He's hurt, and he's got no one to help him. That could be it. There's going to be no save, just a one count. If Fat Fox can find a Fox bottom, he might be able to finish this before Fugonomic recovers. Oh, powers through, though. Steve Motti trying to take back control. Misses with the kick. Fat Fox with the speed. Look at the speed of those punches, but Steve Motti catches the second one, and a massive clothesline floors him. And I think that was Fugonomic recovering onto the apron as well. Scousers got themselves back into this. There goes Fan Fox again, though. Steve Motti unwisely celebrating, and down he goes. Caught absolutely cold by Fan Fox, dragging him over to Lemon. There's the tag. Frank in the head is Lemon. Steve Mott has been in there way, way too long. Dress for business, wearing him down. Kick to the guts, armbar. He needs to find something. This is absolutely clinical from Dress for Business. Elbow drop to the inside of the leg. Steve Mott pops up. Still gets caught with the whip, though. And here comes Fan Fox. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bed into the boot. Desperately going for the tag. Gets caught. Gets cut off. Still no tag to Fuganomic. Oh, and launched across the ring, but towards Fuganomic. Fan Fox has to be careful. He doesn't give away the tag here. Powers through. Could tag. Come on, Steve Marty. Make that tag, buddy. Come on. Thumping the heck out of Fat Fox, and I can understand his frustration. Takes him down, loving it, but really, really has to get Fugonomic in there. Kick to the back, and now he's looking for it, is he? No. Oh. Oh, nasty knee to the back of the head. Steve Motti doing really, really well. Oh, my word. Swinging spine buster. Surely that's the tag now. No, it isn't. He is so frustrated with Fab Fox. Smashes his knee into the canvas. Now he tags. Now he's had enough payback. Now he could rest happy and let Fugonomic do the heavy lifting. Fugonomic taking Fab Fox back into their corner. Oh my goodness, throws him out to the concrete. I was not expecting that. Double chop. Oh, wow. Just absolutely pummeling. And Fox. Oh, but the jawbreaker slaps him. Oh, but then it eats a right, uh, straight right. And uh, fed back into the ring by Fuganoic. Oh, no. Oh, ram chest first into the apron. The hardest part of the ring, barring the ring post. But he gets the tag. He finds the tag to Lemon out of absolutely nowhere. Oh, and he stomps him down, but it's not enough. And he flying clotheslines him down, but it's not enough. And then Fugonomic dodges. Oh, my goodness. Fugonomic on a tear. Lemon has no no tag in sight. No one to save him if pinned. And Fugonomic's flying. Here is the pin. What an incredible sequence that was, eh? It, flip it, Jim. It really was. I'm glad you're back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad the match is still on, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I just realised yeah. I was like, oh god, what if there was an instant, <laughs> instant DQ again? <laughs> yep, yep, no, we, we weren't sat here for five minutes. It's been Ooh. phenomenal. Oh my word. Was that was that Trouble in Paradise? It was. Steve Mott, you're going to have to save here. There's no Fat Fox to intercept. Fat Fox! Oh! oh! Well, I, I lied. Fat Fox, out of nowhere slid into the ring and got in between the pin. Oh, my word. And Steve Motti, Lemon smashed onto the concrete outside. Fugonomic, a bit of a specialist in that. Yeah. But, uh, but yes, yeah, somehow Fugonomic just about kicking out at the last second. 
Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, Jim. <laughs> we could have a counter. Oh my word. Oh my word. Lemon launched into the steps of Fanfox, considering taking things into his own hands. Mm -hmm. He might have done. I, d I don't know why Fogonomic's struggling to get up. Did Fanfox might have taken him out. Six. And there we go. Fogonomic really <laughs> needs to get back in the ring. I think he's just about going to manage it. <laughs> just about. Just about, indeed. Oh, Lemon dodges! <laughs> DDT! <laughs> Could probably do with a pin after all of that. Our all vote for gold. Oh my, yes. oh my oh. goodness. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh, my, god. <laughs> oh my god, I wow. thought he won there. Yeah, really did. Yeah, that, that didn't look like a kick out at all. Oh, Steve oh. Motty powering out of the lock from Fanfox and uh, survives to be on the apron. Nasty slap from Fuganomic, but he's exhausted. He's absolutely gone. And Fox considers throwing a punch, but uh, chooses against it. Fuganomic accidentally catches the ref rather than Lemon. Boston <laughs> Crab. Boston Crab. And at this point, we could have our second tap out of the night. Oh, the power. Powers out does Lemon somehow. Really wouldn't hurt him to tag right now. I think that's what he's looking for, but instead he walks right into a recovering Fuganomic. And he's taken over to the opposite corner. That is not where he wants to be. <laughs> Here comes the refreshed Steve Motti. Oh, my word. Ankle lock. Ankle lock. Oh, Lemon immediately out. Steve Motti too fast for Lemon. Spike DDT takes the pin. Fanfox right there, though. Got to think he'll break that one up. Yes. <laughs> oh, wiped out though. Wiped out from behind by Steve Motti. Oh! Reverse. Steve Motti taking down. Who's going to get up first, Jim? Maybe the ref should be counting them both down. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Well, well, lemon stirring. He is. Nothing oh, yet from Steve Motti. Oh, pops up. Wow. They're both back. Oh, God. Oh, Steve Motti just quicker. <laughs> What a slam. Lemon go for the tag. No, not uh, not quick enough, but he pops up. Catches Steve Motti, and this could be the tag now. Oh! <laughs> oh, my word. Ends that incredible sequence with an uppercut. Sends Steve Motti for a ride. Holds it. No, doesn't hold it for pin. Steve Motti now trying to make a tag. Lemon says no. Not oh, the ring. Lemon Too drop. long. Lemon drop. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be it. Buganomics not trying to save. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jim. Wow. <laughs> I have no idea why Buganomics. Maybe he was still just too out of it. Yeah. Oh man. Unbelievable win again by the most informed tag team in the JFW. By far, dressed for business. And we really could be looking at the next Tag Team Champion. Yeah, how do you bet against them given this form? Incredible stuff. Yep, yep. You might even make them the favourites, which is uh, pretty incredible as the challengers. But yeah, they're so hot right now. I, I think they are. <laughs> yeah. So hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> and dressed Zane for Zuma. business by Mugatu. <laughs> <laughs> so only uh only the one win for the scousers tonight yeah. Fogonomic and steve Motti will not be happy with their their lack of gold currently and in the near foreseeable future yeah yeah true but uh you know a great performance by hancock still so you know they've They've got that. I mean, they don't have it. He's got that. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> at least one of the Scousers has still, still got gold round his waist. 
And boy, howdy, wow. look, how's this for a how's this for a cross a cross uh, promotional match? We've got the two EAB challengers, Chunter and Skuro, up against the world champ JBG. Yeah, just just amazing, and uh, I I don't know. So it's a little bit up with Rick lately, isn't it? He's he's lost an awful lot of matches. He did finally get a win against uh, PC, I think, but. But he lost to Skuro, he lost to Chunter, and if you remember, before his last title defense, he lost to JBG as well. So yeah. um, all three of these men recently beaten the extra arms belt champion. So uh, a very, very worthy triple threat. And flip me, I, I just can't call this, Jim. This is insanely high standard. <laughs> it is, yeah. What a, what, a wild, what a wild match. This could have been a pay-per-view main event. It, like, it basically is. <laughs> um, so, this, yeah. this is like taking three members of Team England and getting them to play blood ball against each other. You just couldn't call it. Like, the standard's too high. Yeah. <laughs> well, unless one was Jimmy Fantastic, then you'd know <laughs> it was between the <laughs> other two <laughs> and somebody would be conceding on turn three. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I hear he was pretty awesome this week. Oh, yeah, that's true. Here he is. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Monochrome. <laughs> Skurabetso, baby. He's back and he's bad and he's mean in business. He has already defeated Rick in recent weeks. Oh, Can you get an absolutely monster win against uh, Rick's other victors here tonight? Yeah, they used to have a. You used to be able to do it. Uh, they they had like rules for it. They had like a, a cross shape pitch, and you like started on like on the edge and stuff. It was it was weird. Did you ever play that, Rick? The uh, like death. Oh, I can't remember what it was called. It was called like death ball or death ball or something. Uh, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, you could you could do it with you know the the foam the foam pitches. Oh yeah. Um, it was easier with them, right? Because they like they had the like they were in thirds, weren't they? So you just stuck the two third bits on the ends on the sides. Oh, nice. um, I, I do have one of those pictures, but no, I can't can't say I did that, but it sounds good. Jim, I don't know if you've ever watched Gone Baby Gone, but it's uh, I just watched it with uh, Mrs. Reckless, and it's in uh, sorry, Mrs. Uh, Shivani, and uh, it's in uh, <laughs> it's based in Boston, and yeah, it, it sounded like Skurametsu may have done all the voiceovers. <laughs> Amazing. Rick Schiavone, the love rat. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> Talking of rats, here is the golden rat himself, uh, Chunter. Um, spoilers for the CNA, but uh, an absolutely phenomenal effort from Chunter earlier in the CNA. He had to win to get his team the draw for the round and unfortunately fell just agonizingly short and, and ended up drawing the match having successfully defended in the first half and uh, looked like he might get the second half done, but his, uh, his opponent came back and managed to stop the Skaven. So yeah, epic, epic, epic match and effort there, and I'm, I'm sure they'll do well in the rest of the CNA. Yeah. Yeah, it's anyone's games, isn't it, to be fair? No, nobody's out after the first round. With three out of four going through most groups, um, nobody should be too disheartened if they picked up a loss in round one, that's for sure. Yeah. And like the standard so high, like you know, even even if like Team England had an incredible dominant showing, um, anybody can just like <laughs> can just have that and then lose the next two, can't they? Like, the, uh, the yeah, the, the margins are so fine. Like you say, when when the coaching level is that high, the margins are absolutely tiny. And yeah, just just one slight thing can can make a win look easy or or a loss seem you know really rough. But yeah, it's it's not a lot in each game. I I agree. Like, Russia starting with 4-3 was crazy. Yeah, yeah, that is really, really surprising. <laughs> but you would still expect them in the next round. I completely agree. Yeah. Right, here we go. Look at this. Unbelievable. The good boy, the rat, and the uh, shithead. <laughs> Yeah, triple threats don't get much better than this. I have no idea who's winning this one. Chunter very wisely taking a moment before joining the fray and uh, and then takes out Skuro and takes down JBG, but Skuro isn't going to stand for it. Manages to get a kick to the gut in and, oh baby, belly to back. Wonderful German suplex there. And dodges JBG. I don't know how he saw that coming. Eyes in the back of his head. 
But Ooh. JBG with the reversal. Oh, this is this is beautiful, beautiful wrestling. Oh man, what a Big start! Knee takes takes her shots. That was that really was some start, and it's uh, it's not going to slow down anytime soon. Flying fist has Chunter coming back. There goes JBG. Skuro takes down Chunter. It's Skuro and Chunter for now in between the ropes. The two-time, oh, <laughs> the two-time SFL champ. This is the one-time <laughs> CCL champ. <laughs> yep, hard hard to say whose resume is the the more prestigious. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely SFL. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, especially if you've won it twice, right? Like, that's that's twice as many titles. Yeah. Uh, leg drag takedown on JBG from Skuro. He's uh, only just come back into it, JBG, and he's not having a great time so far. Reversed again. And down he goes. Wonderful scoop slam sat down with it. Skuro, and now he goes after Chanta and just bowls him over. Skuro had enough of being Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah, it's going hard tonight, is Skuro. He is. He's really got a point to prove. He, he didn't uh, come back absolutely in form initially. Struggled a little bit at the match before Survivor Series. Struggled a little bit at Survivor Series. But uh, it, it didn't take long. And uh, a win over Rick in style was just absolutely huge. Wow, what a bulldog from Chunter. Now he's trying to prove his point. Ooh. Oh, doesn't take down JBG though, gets arm dragged. They're eyeing each other up, but they're struggling to get around Skuro. <laughs> lovely, lovely suplex from Chunter. Oh, what a pin! Oh, wow, what a pin! <laughs> what an absolute flex on JBG. I don't think you're going to beat somebody as good as JBG like that, but I like, uh, I like the confidence. <laughs> Skuro really biding his time here, picking his right moment to rejoin, limbering up, catching his breath. Great strategy. And yeah, really nice right hand, perfectly timed. Oh, but uh, Chunter slipping in behind. And Skuro with the counter knee. Back and forth we go. Chunter fights out of the corner. Skuro blocks the chop. <laughs> Whips Chunter into the corner, but JBG coming back into it. Chunter fights out of the corner again. Nobody can get anything in. And indeed, it takes JBG with a, with a huge power bomb, and he holds it. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, Jim. Is this triple threat or is this elimination? This is just triple threat. First pin will win. Skuro, very confident that uh, Chunter yeah. is going to kick out there. <laughs> Choosing not to break it up. That was really surprising. Yep. And he hasn't got the chance now. Yeah, but he gave too long for uh, for Chunter to recover, did JBG. If he could find a good cutter or something, though, this would be done, I reckon. Yeah. Didn't take too long for Skuro to recover. Chunter fights up. Skuro joins the fray. This is going to get messy. Oh, the crystal walls of Chunterino. There's no <laughs> way Skuro is going to let that no, fly. I won't give in. <laughs> Until I'm victorious. Or maybe I he will does. Defend. Wow. I will defend. Skuro really, really confident in his opponent's yeah. abilities to uh, to not be finished by the other. <laughs> Woo, thank you, PC, for staying fantastic for 11 glorious months. Oh, oh yeah. PC, baby. Great. Pump axe handle slap by Skuro. He might have it. He might have it. Oh. oh. Two and three quarters. Oh, my God. That is as close as it gets. Oh, baby. Oh, but Chunter recovering. Otherwise, we would be done and dusted and on our way home. <laughs> Absolutely power, power bomb. <laughs> that is JBG completely gone for a while. But Chunter back and forth with Skuro, not letting him uh, get the pin. Scoop slam by Skuro. He might still be able to pin JBG. It's been a while, but he's that out of it. Oh, Skuro grabs the ankle. Knee to the hamstring. Uh -oh. oh no, Chunder. The uphill block. <laughs> JBG stirring, but I think he's going to be too long. It could be done. He is too long. He's won. Chunder's won. Chunder. Unbelievable. Oh boy. Amazing form from Chunter. He has beaten everybody for months and months now. It's just getting ridiculous.
here. JBG, the world champion, defeated Skuramezo. Defeater of Rick in recent weeks. Defeated Chunta, reign supreme in some regards in the JFW. Yeah, unbelievable. And um, what a what a high octane match that was. Um, outrageous, wasn't it? Outrageous. Yeah, you, you kind of expect it from these three. You 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 do expect an instant classic, and yeah, they didn't disappoint. What a statement from Chunta. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. If you invest that much in an entrance, you, you better be using it. <laughs> the golden boy of the CCL. Yes! <laughs> 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 now, boy, howdy. The uh, six feet down under versus the guy who gave them peppered biscuits and, uh, <laughs> and his halfling chef. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> pretty well. Yeah, this is, uh, this, is, this is pretty incredible. The tag team champions obviously been an absolute machine. An absolute force since Store actually appeared in the JFW. Uh, until, of course, they did lose for to dress for business in a non-title match. So they have had their first hiccup on the road. Um, six feet down under, not much left to say about them. Probably the strongest force in the JFW, but never quite put it together so far in tag team action. So this would actually be a really big win for them tonight. Yeah. Sorry, that just I just really tickle me just going, yeah. <laughs> 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 Nothing else. <laughs> oh, oh, no, it's, all, it's all good. Wow. A... Sometimes the silence says uh, more than we ever can, Jim. Yeah. Goodness me. I, I mean, this would, this would put off any tag team from being a tag team in the JFW. The sight of facing these two, except for maybe our champions. I don't know if Flicky Flack's quite in touch with reality enough to, to understand the menace that is six feet down under and the danger he's going to be in. Um, also, he did actually kill Pepper Biscuit once. Equally, equally, uh, Store, I don't know if he's actually of this world. I don't think he's got any fear. So... For once, the intimidation of six feet down under probably wasted. Mm. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Space Cadet. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely thing to say. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Wrestling Kick Nation. Having a, a fairly good week in uh, Rebel Clan. Caught a bit of that at the weekend. I think they were 2 0 1 after the matches I saw, which is uh, a nice start for them. Mm. <laughs> Still, of course, that's pretty great, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it certainly is. These two absolutely loving life tag teaming together as champions. <laughs> Seem to enjoy every minute of it, and I've no doubt they'll feel the same tonight, even against Night Demon and Pepper Biscuit. Fwah, I love it. 
Oh my word. The power of Flicky. Not many could uh, could start like this against Night Demon. <laughs> but an informed Flicky can. Not often I feel sorry for Night Demon, but uh, yeah, this is he's in a bad place straight away. All right, sweeps the leg. Always good against the bigger opponent. Cranks the head, but if he's not careful, he might knock some sense into him. <laughs> of course, if he brings him back to reality too much, then Storm might disappear again, so it might work in his favor. <laughs> Flicky powering out. <sighs> oh, my word. You don't see Night Demon tossed around like a rag doll too often, but that is exactly what's happening here. I'm powered up by his Christmas ham. He's <laughs> ready to go, Flicky. From the uh, from the big guy to the stunty, oh, head scissors into a, a nasty elbow to the top of the head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at the confidence of Store, already memeing. <laughs> He's an absolute meme lord. He is, he is. Okay, Night Demon, trying to get back in control. Maybe trying to make the tag. Does make the tag. He needed that. Pepper Biscuit now, going to turn this one around for six feet down under. With a huge suplex on the store. Store already barely moving. <laughs> it doesn't take much to get that stunty going. And the lovely jawbreaker. Oh, caught it though. <laughs> often you see a fling fly. Not often you see a fling caught in midair. No, true. Oh, God, look at this. Wow. Ridiculous power from Peppered Biscuit. He thinks he's a tree man. So we're already in a bit of trouble. Tag to Flicky wouldn't be the worst. Oh my, oh my goodness. Awful ground and pound. The ref letting this go for now. Who'd, who'd break up Pepper Biscuit from a manoeuvre, to be fair? Yeah. Not I. Store, elbow to the gut. Oh, oh my oh. word. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm telling you, Jim, there's something a little bit magical about Store because there's no way a normal-sized man or halfling or whatever the heck he is could toss Pepper Biscuit across the ring quite like that. No, it's true. I mean, he's a devout member of Wank Nation and nobody tosses men off better than Store. <laughs> that, that might just be it, I guess. Uh, yeah, wise, wise tag, Flicky back in the ring, and suddenly Pepper Biscuit not too happy, but he sweeps the leg as well. They've come in here with a strategy. I don't know whether they've been speaking to Space Cadet or what, but they've definitely got a strategy on the go here. Taking Flicky down by the legs, and it's working so far. Maybe they've been talking to Calcium Cars here, sweep the leg. Yeah, yeah. Could could well be. Coached by the, uh, the Cobra Kai Sensei himself. <laughs> Oh, but Flicky with insane power again. Long-standing feud with Pepper Biscuit. He's not going to let Night Demon get a hold at all. Caught him as he stepped between the ropes. Snapmare takedown. Pepper Biscuit completely gone for now. Flicky looking like he could win this one on his own. The kind of thing he did used to do before Stars turned up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, nice, uh, nice knee to the head, though, and another one. Night Demon fighting, scratching, biting, clawing his way back into this. But the strength of Flicky, once again, too much. Oh. <laughs> Still no Pepper Biscuit, stirring just about. Oh, but the speed of Night Demon, the speed and power combined. Flattening Flicky. He reaches towards Store, but he's cut off. He reaches towards the ropes, but he's cut off. Really nice control from Night Demon, this. Oh, my word. It's almost psychological. Oh, my oh my goodness. And there's the superhuman power of Night Demon. Looks like he wants the tag. Dragging Flicky across. The six feet down under's corner. No, he's going for the pin. He wants Pepper Biscuit to save. Pepper Biscuit in store. Yeah, too early, I think, Jim. Not not interested. Oh, big elbow from Flicky. Ooh. Oh, but the boot's caught. <laughs> but the boot's caught. Oh, oh zombie. my goodness. Zombie. Zombie. Surely this time, store, yes. Ooh. Makes it. Oh, my word. What a save from store, but he's going to pay. He's going to pay a nasty <laughs> price. Oh, my goodness. He might be dead. 
And Flicky's still in a world of hurt. This is looking really, really bad for the champs. Oh, man. Right, Demon Gotts. Planned here. Oh, nasty snap elbow. And another. <laughs> oh, oh, my word. Flicky getting demolished. Yeah. And there's nobody to tag. There's nobody to break up the pin. Pepper Biscuit's turn. He's always up for a bit of revenge against Flicky. <laughs> Not a massive fan of people who kill him. <laughs> no, funny that. <laughs> yeah, some of us are more forgiving, but uh, Pepper Biscuit really likes to hold a grudge. Power slam, <laughs> running power slam. Again, the strength of six feet down under. Baffling. Oh, but Flicky sweeps the leg. He's learned. He's learned, Jim. <laughs> Flicky five alive. Oh, oh but shoot, uh, but uh, yeah, Luthers press by Pepper Biscuit. How he got the elevation on that, I don't know. Oh my word! Now he's going for the press slam. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Up goes Flicky. Down comes Flicky, and the bigger they are, the harder they fall. That was a ridiculously big fall. Store, not there. Ooh. Flicky kicks out. How did he do that? How on earth? How on earth did he do that? Desperately needs the tag though. Store is there now. I think. No, stay in that. Night Demon. No, Night Demon didn't get to him. Oh, the power of Flicky, but you gotta make the tag, Flicky. Store's calling for it. Come on, buddy. You're in such a bad way. Oh my goodness, no. The punch is caught and he's wiped out. Trying for the tag now, but it's too late. Peppered biscuit on top of him. Oh no. Oh no, huge brain buster. Oh God. Look, he might be immune to the brain buster though. <laughs> no, he's not. No, he's not. Oh no. The champs have lost twice in a row, Jim. Twice in a row. <laughs> he might be immune to the brain buster. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> well, he wasn't. <laughs> no, no, he, he, we've learned something here today. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely amazing from Six Feet Down Under. Any question marks over their tag ability? Put to rest. Silenced here tonight. <laughs> yeah. They want to be next in line, or maybe in line with Dress for Business. They're not going to go away quietly until they get a shot at the tag team titles now. Yep. It was as close as I could get to Peppered Biscuit, you know. <laughs> it's nearly the same. <laughs> and now we've got uh, Calcium taken on Rick Records. Of course, Calcium, the number one, the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, and. A big fan of Cobra Kai, which will be coming out soon, won't it? The, ne the next season of Cobra Kai is out, out soon. Or is it already out? Or is it? Do you know when it's uh, out? Soon, yeah. Um, it came out last January, I think, uh, the last season. So I, I reckon, yeah, probably next month or so. 31st, says Saturday Todd. Oh, oh, superb. Superb. Mm. Yeah, an amazing return and uh, immediate impact from Calcium Kaz getting the world title shot. That's uh, just superb from him. And yeah, going to prove his point tonight. Can he be the fourth man in recent history to defeat Rick? Can Rick find something else tonight? Because he just, he hasn't been on it, Jim. Something's been missing. He, he needs to find the next level. I hope we see something extra against yeah. Calcium. Let's hope so. Let's, let's hope he gives it 110%. <laughs> 31st. That's amazing, isn't it? So yeah, so that on the 31st and then day two. Oh, thank oh, you, Nike. Some parting bit. Glorious night, David. Congrats on the win, man. Really nice, really nice win for you and PB. Yeah. Although well, nothing specifically on the line for Calcium Kaz here tonight. He knows how bad this will look on him if he doesn't get the win. I feel like there's quite a bit of pressure. He's been given that world title shot, and everybody's beaten Rick recently. 
So it, it just isn't going to sit right with him if he's the guy that loses to Rick before before taking a shot at JBG. Absolutely. It doesn't sit right in with him if he loses to anyone, I think. <laughs> well, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, this one this one would especially eat at him. I think we're going to see next level extra determined calcium cars. And yeah, I don't know. Without, without the quad skulls backing up Rick in recent matches, I, I don't know. Yeah. A bit worried about Rick. Maybe a bit of burnout. Maybe a link doing injury. Maybe just his head's not in the right place. Really hope he can prove me wrong tonight. <laughs> oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Jim. Oh, Jim. It's so ridiculous. Son Rickless is here at the JFW! Glorious! <laughs> oh, oh baby! <laughs> oh baby, well, he has found something else. He has found some holiday magic. Oh, I wouldn't want to be Calcium Kaz right now. I, t I tell you what, Son Rickless is a heck of a lot better at Blood Bowl than Rick, and I wouldn't at all be surprised if he's a heck of a lot better wrestler as well. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my word. Jesus. <laughs> Son Rickless flying out the gates. Calcium just uh, hitting him up against the ropes to try and catch his breath. Clean break. Honorable from both men. Locks up again. Back, back they go. Ref might have to break this up again. Interesting strategy from Calcium. I like it, though. Proving a point. <laughs> <laughs> Tries for it the third time. Rick slips around the back, but a lovely, lovely judo takedown from Calcium Kaz. Rick fights up. Arm drag. Side headlock. And a really nice punch to the face on return. But Calcium catches Rick. Oh. Wow. Great strength from Kaz. Showing that uh, he might be the slightly smaller man here, but he's in no way out-muscled, out-powered. He is a pure athlete. 100%. Calcium's got, a, got an amazing record of 252 wins and zero defeats against 14-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> he certainly does. Oh, inverted atomic drop. Nasty. Nasty from Rick there. Oh, Rick trying to tell off the ref but gets caught by Kaz. Oh, man. Not, not the smartest thing from St. Rickless there. Find his way back, though. Nice right hand. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Runs him down like a sleigh. <laughs> oh, what a knee, though. That just yeah. ended Rick. Yeah, that Calcio Kaz's MMA, devastating when he gets it going. Beautiful technique every time. Kaz into the corner, though. Ooh. Nice, nice counter elbow from Kaz. Whip trick into the ropes. Oh, another destroying knee. We, we talk about uh, parts of the body being devastating. The elbow so horrifically sharp, but knees just like a club. Like a legal club, if you can uh, get a nasty knee blow in. And St. Ricolas locked in here. Can he escape? That looks really tight. Just to find a way to power out. Good job it was early in the match. Wouldn't uh, wouldn't fancy a beaten up St. Ricolas stuck in that submission. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's good. Yeah, he's going to ring his bell. <laughs> oh, sends calcium crashing out to only the 17 feet of concrete tonight. So not, not quite as bad as normally on Claw. <laughs> oh, loving and just reindeering down blows here on calcium cars. <laughs> oh, the knee again. Oh, my word. Rick's going to have absolutely no stomach muscles left. No, it's just brutal, isn't it? Oh, oh slips over the back. 
Oh, nice little jab of his own and an elbow to the head. Big saying, anything you can do, I can do maybe half as well, in, <laughs> as far as MMA is concerned. <laughs> We're on seven. Oh, Rick taking too long. Yeah, this this could be a nasty quick finish if we're not careful. Oh my goodness. Oh. That's going to get the cats out win. Oh, he's picked him up though. Oh, Carlson. Oh, wow. I did, we did say he, he definitely had the win, but he is an honorable man. And uh, yeah, he, he wants to prove a point tonight. Great drop toe hold takedown from Kaz. Yeah, to be Choking fair, Rick on the ropes. Count out isn't going to get him the win against JBG, is it for the title? So you know, I guess that's the that's the thing. He's got to beat him in the middle of the ring. Yeah, if he's seeing this as a warm up, and if he wants confidence for that match, yeah, he he needs to pin or submit Rick. Absolutely. Yeah. Of course, once he becomes champion, he can uh, <laughs> aim to get as many <laughs> as many count of wins as he likes. Oh, fantastic slam there. Again, the power of Kaz. Don't underestimate it. Oh, God. His knees. Wow. Yeah, he knows exactly, exactly where to target an opponent and how Rick pummeled into a paste here. All right, Sun Rick kicks out at one. Bit of the Sun Rickless magic. <laughs> Thought that might be a two by now. Calcium catching his breath. Sun Rick getting up. Oh no, uh -oh. he's got bad intentions. Don't turn around. Don't turn around, Rick. Sun Rick, no. Boosh. Oh. No, no, no. Ho, ho, ho. Oof. That's it. No. Kicks out at two. Wow. <laughs> That, that felt like it was over. Felt like we had an early victory. Somehow, Sun Rick fighting back a knee of his own. Not quite as good as uh, Calcium's. Oh my goodness, Crucifix Powerbomb. Oh, okay. Sun Rick has pulled it out. After taking a hell of a beating as he found the win. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Oh. oh. Goodness me. So both men now. Comfortably picking up two counts. Not going to be much more until we see a victor. Wow. Beautiful. Textbook suplex. Uh, it was stunning. Stunning suplex from St. Nicholas. Oh, I don't boy, know if he's no new idea. to wrestling, but he uh, he's picked it up quick. Oh, my goodness. The Rick roll. <laughs> That's it, Jim. It's That's got to be it. It's got to be it. Oh! oh, what? What? That was after the three, Ref. That was after the three. He's going to do another Rick roll. Kaz surely got to counter this. Oh, oh the splash. Like Jimmy Snooker in the 80s. <laughs> Rickless flying through the skies. The children love to see it. <laughs> he has a present for Kaz, and it's a loss, baby. <laughs> no, oh, not my. yet. Goodness me. What does St. Nicholas have to do? How is Kaz finding these kickouts? You can see how good he is to uh, become the world champion. Even though he knows he doesn't need that win tonight, he must feel like he's got to prove it to himself that he can win that match. Yeah. Look again, crashing to the concrete. Not a good place to be. No, even if it is only 17 feet, that's still, that's still hella deep. <laughs> it is. It is. I would not want to be buried in 17 feet of concrete, personally. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Rick with oh. the reversal. Kaz with the reversal. Rick now on the ropes. Is he going to choke him out again? He does. He loves to do that. Kaz oh. having a breather. Rick not not stirring he's definitely got some time on his hands decides to go for the pin after a breather i don't think he's going to get it this time oh. wow oh, oh my word how dead is st rick <laughs> if kaz can have a breather on the outside come back in and pin and get two and a half that is that is scary mm. i i was worried that was going to be one of the weirdest finishes we ever had there jim <laughs> yeah me too <laughs> but you know St. Nicholas, he knew he had the time, so he, he, used the, he used the time that was available, didn't he? Just like a I rebel had taken so. four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. 
Hand Rebel just three minutes. I, I thought that before as well, but having watched some matches this weekend, I think it was three minutes. Uh, clan, clan is clan three. Rebel. Clan is three. And, uh, yeah, the, the, the main league is four. Oh, no. This is definitely it. Rick, some Rickolas, like Rick before him, oh defeated. Boy. Oh, Kaz. God. This gonna is gonna be able be to it. challenge JVD. That is definitely it. What a massive oh. win! What? What? <laughs> I I think some Christmas elves got got his arm up there, Jim. I don't <laughs> think that was actually St. Rick's volition. <laughs> oh my goodness, Kaz taking off the turnbuckle cover, but Rick fighting back. We've seen that. We've seen this finish, people, in recent weeks, Jim. Yep. The exposed turnbuckle. Finally coming into play a few times at the JFW. <laughs> yeah, it has been devastating. Uh oh, here we go. Crucifix powerbomb again. This this could be it for Kaz. He's pulled out some unbelievable kickouts, but uh, also Oof. worn himself out, surely, with the huge amount of offense. Oh, my goodness. Straight into the rickroll. This has got to be it. If he hits this, it's all over. Top float. Top rope flip me, maybe. No, it is the Rick roll. Oof. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's over. Wendy, Wendy not interfering. What? Oh, my goodness me. Calcium Kaz proving he is top tier. Two <laughs> top rope flip me's, two crucifix power bombs, and this man isn't down. This man isn't out. That's crazy, isn't it? That is nuts. He's doing it again. Oh my word, have we got a have we got a corner with a, a cover anymore? Second turnbuckle exposed. Oh Rick fights back! No oh, power no. bomb for you. I desperately want to see a, a whip into one of these turnbuckles, but uh too busy getting it done in the middle. Just Desperately slamming Kaz over and over again into the mat. Maybe that'll be it. Like, it's been such a wild, such a brutal fight. Two and a half. An anything could finish it now. Oh, the refs, the refs recovered one of the turnbuckles. So it's only the new one that's now exposed. <laughs> nasty, nasty knee to the chest. What can Kaz possibly have left? Rick. It, you can see how tired St. Rickless is, though. That's a slow yeah. climb, Jim. That is really slow, yeah. Top rope. Top rope flip, flip me this time. Top rope flip me. Oh. No elbow. Wow. Oh, my word. The lesser spotted elbow. That could be it. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my goodness me. What does St. Rickless have to do? He's, he's got presents to deliver. He can't be here all night. <laughs> Kelsey with a counter. Yeah, follows it up really nicely. Oh my oh, goodness, this holds could on. Be it. That really could be it. Beautiful. Oh. oh my word. Oh my word. This is one of the great Monday Night Claw singles matches. Ref recovers the ring pose. Oh, oh. boy. Oh, that's got to be it. That's got to be it. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness again oh my god yeah I think I think Calcium's got this one yep here oh, we go wow. yep. the third yep. the third finisher for Kaz oh, oh, no! oh no way no way oh man <laughs> you? it's a reckless miracle it's a Christmas miracle <laughs> Christmas miracle. Saint Rick. <laughs> wow. I I believe, Jim. I wasn't sure I believed, but I believe in St. Nicholas. I believe he's a saint and I believe he can pull off miracles because that was ridiculous. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> that was just incredible, wasn't it? Absolute dancing. They, they, they both did themselves a credit tonight, and I hope Kaz doesn't feel any less confident going into his world title shot because uh, he's he's shown that he belongs here.
Ow. Well, St. Nicholas can definitely go back and enjoy a little brandy. Whatever his tipple is after this. What a what an amazing debut. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible stuff from St. Nicholas. <laughs> and yeah, great from Kaz as well in his belt. It's so close to winning. If that if that finisher hadn't been counted, he would have he would have been victorious, I'm sure. Um, but there you go. That is it for another Monday Night Claw, the last one before Christmas. Um, <laughs> so very appropriate. Thank you very much, Rick Shavani. Amazing stuff as always. Cheers, Jim. Yeah, a absolute pleasure. I seem to say this every week, but just another classic. Like they've been such so good these shows recently. We're due a bad one. <laughs> Thank goodness we haven't had one yet. <laughs> and thank you very much, Bezor, for doing all the predictions. And thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>